In the circle universe, there are two related and key terms. They are central angles and intercepted arcs. We'll start off with the central angle. Key facet of a central angle is that its vertex is at the center of the circle. This equation down here says that the measure of angle ABC, which is our central angle, is equal to the measure of the arc AC. Well, we call that arc AC the intercepted arc just like a football pass intercept. So from A to C, notice those are also the place where the central angle intersects the circle. So this is called our intercepted arc. And for central angles, they will always be congruent to their intercepted arc. On this picture right here, I've drawn something that is not a central angle. The reason is its vertex is on the circle, not at the center of the circle. If we look at congruent chords in a circle, so I've drawn two congruent chords. I've said two important things, that congruent chords have congruent central angles, which means I can say that these two central angles must be congruent. And how could I prove that? Well, if you look at these two sides that I've marked congruent, and if you look at the other two sides of the triangle, we see that they are radii. So these two are congruent and these two radii are, are all congruent. So we could use a side-side-side conjecture to say that these two triangles must be congruent, therefore their central angles are also congruent. One other consequence of this is that they also will have congruent intercepted arcs. So I could say that this arc right here, which is formed by that congruent chord, is congruent to that intercepted arc. So lots of interesting things going on with central angles and intercepted arcs that'll help us find missing measures.